Hey guys, welcome back to the Zeal Cigar Review. I have a guest that no one's ever seen before. I'm going to tell you who this guy is all next on the Zeal Cigar Review. Well, there is a certain way that this young man is related to this old man right here. And tell them who you are and how you're related to me. I am your son. Yes. And I'm related uh, <laughs> by... <laughs> By, by birth. By birth. By birth. This is my this is my second born. This is my son Camden David Reith. And uh, I asked him just come on and, and talk a little bit about what is it like to have your dad, you know, in the cigar industry and and also to promo the podcast that we're doing together. We're right. doing a podcast on uh, angels and demons and the haunting of the Reith family, which you mm -hmm. should definitely go over to the Cut Light and Smoke podcast and listen to it because part one's already up and part two we're recording right after this. Right. Uh, so. So t I've been smoking cigars as long as you've been alive, at least. Probably a little longer. Probably yeah. longer, right? Because right? you're, you're 19. 19, yeah. You're 19 years old. And uh, let me ask this. When's the first time you ever saw your dad smoke a cigar? Like, I remember a lot when we were in, like, Dublin, like, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, okay. You'd, you'd invite, like, all, like, the Caleb's men over. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, yeah, would, all, yeah. You guys would all, like, smoke cigars and right, stuff like that. And, right, right, okay. Yeah, that's that's so, the earliest that I can, that I can remember. Okay, yeah. So or, you, like, or, like, when like before that, we'd, you'd smoke cigars with Grandpa. Yeah, with uh, definitely with Grandpa. Yeah. All the time with Grandpa. Uh, in fact, Dad's birthday was yesterday. Big shout-out and happy birthday to the Devil Doc. Uh, he actually did something great. Turned 78 years old. Walked 7.8 miles on his birthday. Actually, it was 8.3. So, 8 like, yeah, can you believe that? I mean, I can't walk that, just so you understand it. So my dad's epic shape. But, so, I want to have Kim in on just by nature of the fact that, like, you never met my son. And this is the, the my son. He bears my name. He's, he's everything, you know, of our lineage and everything like that. So what was it like growing up um, and having your dad on YouTube when you were a teenager in high school? It wasn't crazy. Like, it, like no one was like, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I know the stories, dude. Well, yeah. my, my best friend, uh, Sam, he, uh, yeah. he he didn't tease me about it, but he'd be like, like he'd tell everybody. He'd be like, oh, Ken's dad is famous. He's on YouTube. <laughs> and, Infamous. And back, right? back in, like, uh, the TNT days. T TNT days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. When it, you know. Yeah. Uh, that, that was, like, going around and stuff like that. And, like, suddenly, like, everybody... A lot of people in my school know knew about it. Yeah, like, yeah. You'd be like, dude, your dad's famous. I'm like, <laughs> not famous yeah, at all. Yeah. yeah. And then like, you know, in like restaurants, you'd be like, oh yeah, hey, I have a cigar channel. You should check it out. Like, a YouTube channel. <laughs> always I'm, promote. I'm YouTube. Always, uh, always be like, selling. And you always, always use the same thing. You'd be yeah. like, you're like, oh, it's like being the tallest midget. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, That's and great, I'm like, dude. Every time I'm like. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I know, dude. It had to be so embarrassing. Yeah, it, it wasn't it, embarrassing. Like, right? it was embarrassing at the time, but, like, yeah, I yeah. understand And that. now that you're older, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. So you can, like, you can speak to the younger guys out there that have dads that smoke cigars, you know, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. do YouTube channels and everything else like that. Like, And the thing is, I never thought it was weird. Like, I never thought it was, like, like, I know some people would be, like, like, a lot of people, like, at church, when, uh -huh. we, when we go to church, yeah. a lot of people would ask me, like, your dad's, your dad was a pastor, right? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Yeah. He was like, but he smokes cigars. Isn't that like against like the Bible? I'm like, maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's so great. I'm not, I don't have a master's in theology. Right, right, I'm not, right, I'm not right, my right. Dad, you know? Okay, okay. But like, I was like, I was like, I don't think so. No, it's but, not. Yeah. It's not at all. It's not at all. What What did they tell you in school about cigars? Like, was there anything about cigars, or did they just wrap tobacco into like a big evil devil? I mean, what was the thing? They wouldn't really talk about tobacco in like an evil way. They oh, would, okay. They all would. Right, all right. If cigars were mentioned, they were mentioned in the, like the, in the way that like historical figures would smoke cigars. Oh, okay, that's news to me. I did not know that. I thought I thought it was. There was no working. like bash. Cigars weren't like a, yeah. the devil. That's you know? good. But, that's good to know. That's very good to know. But but everything else was like you know cigarettes and dip and all that kind of stuff. That's bad for you. But they didn't necessarily talk about like the yeah you know, cigars. Okay. It, well, when I was in school, it was vape. Vape, yeah, was vape, the, oh, yeah. vape was the devil. Vape was the devil. Everybody with those, uh, what were they called? The the jewels? Jewels, The yeah. jewels, jewels. Oh, my gosh. And his mom was literally a teacher 15 years. So she she saw yeah. all that kind of stuff. And that's the only reason I know what a jewel is. And it's not like a jewel you wear on a necklace. Right. It's something you vape with. So well, let me ask you this. So we're getting ready to do this podcast. And you know why is this podcast, do you think, important for people to listen to? Because we're talking about angels and demons and spiritual warfare in the the true story of our family being somewhat haunted. So, like, why do you think that's important for people to know and for young people in particular to listen to? I think it's important for people to know because, like, I, I think that some people might 
not like let's say like someone experiences something mm -hmm. out of the ordinary you know and like like as fake as it is like horror movies mm -hmm. and like the parents in horror movies will be like oh it's just the wind or it's just your imagination it's yeah. i think it's important to realize the fact that sometimes it can't just it can't be your imagination right and sometimes right. Like, these things are very real yeah and i think it could like make some people feel very like what's the word very like like they're going crazy or feel like they're not believable like outcast Out okay okay rest, like let's say they tell their all their friends and their friends okay. think they're weird because they're telling people these yeah stories about how something this thing moved by itself and yeah 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 you know but then again at the same time horror and like paranormal kind of things have become such a staple of pop culture uh right right that like you know it's almost uh it's almost cool at this point right it's right right cool to be to be associated with that right so right. i think it'd be like people who i think it'd be important for people who don't want to have that kind of title mm -hmm. attached to them as like oh the kid that's haunted or the kid that right experiences weird things or the, the kid that sees dead people right right you know? i think it'd be really really important for them not to feel like that right right so you can check out the podcast, Cut Light and Smoke Podcast, anywhere that stream, anywhere that streams podcast. So go check it out. Big huge shout out to my son Cannon for joining me and just doing a quick little promo for the podcast. It was cool to hear his side of what it was like to be, you know, the son of a cigar smoking dad on YouTube. So with that said, guys, I've been Bradley for the Zill Cigar Review. This is my son Cannon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Smash that subscribe button. Do the likes. Do all the things that make my son completely embarrassed when I ask you for your support. So with that said, guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace.